If I want to be able to view more information about my system, but in greater detail, and also be able to control elements of it, like for example, if I have a bunch of programs that are open, and one of them freezes up on me, and I try closing out of it, and it doesn't close, then what I can use is what's called the Task Manager, and I know we covered this and we went over it in the Windows 7 Level 1 training videos, but I want to go over it a little bit more in depth here. And as you recall, there are a couple ways to open up the Task Manager. You can either use the shortcut keys like Control alt delete in which case the screen changes and you can go ahead and click on the button Start Task Manager, or you can do Control shift escape and it brings up the Task Manager, or let me close out of it, Come down here and find a blank area somewhere on your taskbar and right click and go to Start Task Manager. You can see it brings it up. Now in the Windows 7 Level 1 training videos we were on the Applications tab here. And we talked about that if a program isn't shutting down when you click on the X to close out of it, you can open up the Task Manager and you can see over here the status. My Word document is currently running, but if it wasn't and it said not running, select it, click on End Task, and then wait, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds and see if the system can just try to force a shutdown on it. So we learned about that, but I want to go over these other tabs here, okay? First of all, the processes here. And these are the various processes that are running in the background. And you can see, well, one you probably recognize, the Google Toolbar Notifier. Google has toolbars that you can actually install with your Internet Explorer program for various features and functions. In any case, that's running. How much memory is it taking up? About 400 kilobytes, it looks like. So that's not taking up too much memory. If one of these is creating problems and you know what you're doing, you can select it and click on End Process. And when you restart your computer, it should be back up and running. But at least for this session, it'll end it. You don't want to end any of these things that you're not sure about because it may stop a functionality of your computer that you're really dependent upon, okay? And then next, we have the Services tab. It's like the Processes tab, but it can run whether a user is logged in or not. So if I don't log in, it can still be running. In any case, if you can't see some of the names here or some of the columns, the description, when you scroll over, just hover your pointer in between the two column headers, like Description and Status, until your pointer turns into black arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then you can go ahead and click and drag to stretch it, or do a double-click really fast, and it'll do a best fit and fit it to the longest text in that column. And then you can see over here, we've got the description, the status, is it running, is it stopped, in any case. Now as I mentioned that these things are running in the background, but if you don't want them running in the background, you have two options. Either try to find if this is a program that you installed and uninstall it, or you can come down here and click on the Start button, go into the Search field and type in msconfig, and then hit Enter, there's the Services tab. So every time you start your computer, these are the services that are going to start up with it. And you can see that they're currently running. You can go ahead and uncheck it and click OK, in which case it'll want to restart the computer. And then, of course, we have the Startup tab. These are the programs that are automatically going to start up when I start my computer, including the Google Toolbar Notifier. I can go ahead and uncheck that, click OK, and then it'll say, do you want to restart now or later? Usually it's best to restart now. In any case, like I said, these are the things that are running in the background or processes that start with the computer. Some of them you have control over and you can end. Well, you have a lot of control here. But again, if you don't know what you're doing here, don't end the process here. So services and then performance. Now the performance tab will monitor the performance of your system resources. You have the central processing unit here. How many processors do I have on my computer? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then how much memory is currently being used here? Just kind of fluxes up and down as it tries to manage those programs running in the background. Down below, click on Resource Monitor. On the Memory tab, you have a bunch of other tabs. You have the Overview, CPU. You can look at those. On the Memory tab down below, it has what's currently in use in green. You can see it's fluctuating here and then a little orange for being modified, and then standby, and then everything else is free. So again, if you install programs on your computer, and they always start up with Windows and running in the background, 
it's probably going to take up a lot of your uh, resources here or memory and you probably won't have as much blue here or free memory so keep that in mind either buy more memory or stop those from running in the background when you start your computer by either uninstalling the program completely or just like we did with MS config down here when we clicked in the uh, instant search go ahead and go to the startup tab and don't uninstall it just uncheck it from starting up with the computer I'm gonna go ahead and close out of here and finish up then you have the networking tab here it will monitor the network utilization of your system including bandwidth local and wireless I just have a local connection I'm not going wireless yet and then finally users you can send a message to a user who are connected to your computer over the network so if I have somebody else that's connected to my computer I could select their name here and send them a message and it will pop up on their screen and I can also select them and click disconnect so they can't connect to the computer or try to log them off but I don't want to do that to myself here thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.